All right, hello and welcome to this video, which is a quick review of scientific notation. This is uh, the P standard scientific notation video two. All right, remember, scientific notation is notation used to express very large or very small numbers as the product of two numbers. This allows us to compare very easily very, very large numbers like distances between planets and the sun. So if we're comparing the distance between the sun and Jupiter and the sun and Saturn, those numbers are so large that we need scientific notation to be able to think about and handle those numbers. Um, we could also be talking about numbers that are very small, like um, atomic distances within the atom. Um, those numbers are tiny, and so we have to use scientific notation to deal with those. So we have a standard notation that we use, which is called scientific notation. It's in the format of A times 10 to the N, where A is any number between 1 and 10, and uh, N is an integer, meaning 1, 2, 3, those are the positive whole numbers, or negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, the negative whole numbers, which make up the integers. So we are going to circle the numbers that are in correct scientific notation. The first one fails because of the 17. It's not between 1 and 10. All right, now let's look at the next thing. There's three things that have to be perfect. This first number has to be between 1 and 10. 6.4 satisfies this. This number must be a 10, and this number must be an integer. All three of those things work, so that number is in scientific notation. Okay, let's look at the second one. 2.4, we're good there. 10, that's an integer, but oh, that 5, that's not what it should be. It should be 10 to the n, so this is not in scientific notation. All right, the next one, let's look at our three numbers here. Do, are they in the right spots? 9.3, perfect, between 1 and 10. 10, negative 2, is that an integer? Yes, it is. Circle it. It's in scientific notation. This last one fails. Why does it fail? The 5 and the 12. Both fail. All right, let's look at converting numbers into scientific notation. So these are, this is a very large number here on the left. Very, 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 very large. Okay? If we were to look at this number, what we think about is we think about the first three numbers. That's our standard. We're going to write that down. We're going to write it down as 5.83. Why 3? Because of this 9 behind the 2. We have to also think about round, rounding. So 5.83 times 10 to the, and we're going to figure out what this power is. So we have to decide how many times do we have to move the decimal place from where it starts there after that last 2 to where it ends between the 5 and the 8. So we have to start counting. So let's go ahead and count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So our exponent is 13 because we have moved it 13 times. When we have very large numbers, those are positive exponents. Here on the right, we have a very, very small number, so it's going to be a negative exponent. So we know we're going to have a number times 10 to a negative power. Okay, let's figure out what our A value is. Let's look at the first three digits again, 253. But 2.54 again because of this 6 right here. Pay attention to that 6. Now we have to count how many times does it take to move the decimal place from where it's at to where it's going to end up between the 2 and the 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2.54 times 10 to the negative 10th. All right, let's look at going the opposite direction. Let's look at expanding numbers from scientific notation into standard notation. How do we do this? We write down the 459. Then the 10 to the 7th tells us to move the decimal place seven times. So we're going to go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're going to put our new decimal place there and some placeholders. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now we're going to just go ahead and rewrite this number. 4, 5, 9, and then 5 zeros. That is our answer. If you want to use commas to figure out place value, put some commas in there after the first three, the next three. 
So what we have is we have the hundreds, thousands, so this is millions. We're looking at 45,900,000. All right, last number. Let's go ahead and write down 798. I write it to the right because I know that I'm, because of this negative six, I'm going to be moving my decimal place to the left. We are going to move it to the left six times. So it starts here between the seven and the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. New decimal place. Add your zeros as placeholders. I'm going to rewrite it so it looks cleaner. 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00000798. And that is our answer and the end of our video. Thank you for following along to this quick video about scientific numbers.